hello, welcome to the show. This is Peter Stewart. Today's episode of Get A Better Broadcast podcast and Voice Over Voice. And we're talking about something which I mentioned briefly at the end of yesterday's show. And that is about your character's voice analogy. Yeah, it's more than the voice of a character that you're coming up with. Uh, Any character's voice, including your own, is partly based on one's physicality. How you talk how someone else talks, how your character is going to be talking, is affected by how they walk, how they hold themselves as they speak, how they stand and sit, their physicality, their energy, and much more besides. All of these elements help create their voice personality, or what voice actor Katie Lee calls their voice analogy. Some of these factors affect the voice indirectly. Uh, someone holding tension in their fists or frame will have a tense voice and attitude and others will affect their voice much more directly. As Katie says, if you do kids' voices, you've got to remember their lungs are smaller than ours, so they're going to breathe differently. Many of these attributes will tell you not only about the character's voice, but also about their attitude, their mental and emotional state, their physicality. And you'll create a more believable voice for your character if you try and physically embody who it is that you're playing. Now, that's quite easy if you're playing an army officer. I mean, standing up straight with steely eyes and barking orders. Or a grandparent maybe bent over, short breaths leading to a higher-pitched tone. And it's admittedly less easy if you're playing a cartoon cat. Or an animated aeroplane. What does an aeroplane sound like? Then you need to look deeper into the character that you're playing. Tell me more about that cat. Tell me more about the aeroplane, their age, their background, the storyline. And it's from that kind of detail that the voice will emerge if the character you're playing is not usually animated and doesn't usually have a voice. You need to know the subtleties within the character, not just do a voice. So the takeaway for today is it's usually quite easy to come up with a character voice for another human being because you can look at them and you can imagine what they sound like because they usually talk. You know what a grand father or grandmother sounds like you know what a little child sounds like you know what a villain sounds like you know what a witch sounds like it's much more difficult to come up with a character voice for something which is usually inanimate like a plane or a train or something which doesn't usually have a voice like a cat or a dragon and in which case if you don't know what it sounds like you have to specifically go after the storyline and their tone and look much more into the kind of character that you're being asked to play instead. I'm Peter Stewart. Thanks for the loan of your ears. Tomorrow, getting an animation voice that fits the visuals. Let's get a better broadcast podcast and voice over voice continues. From London, I'm Peter Stewart. <laughs>